Uh, hey. Hi, uh, the name's Street. Uh, call me Bob. This is not a comic book convention. Benz makes him leave. Sorry, guys. Comic book convention? Do you mind? I'm trying to get changed here. Changed? I'll say. Get down to Greco's Casino this instant! No problemo! When it comes to casinos, Shrimp Louie wrote the book! Have you given any thoughts Silence. to who you're taking to the big spring break beach party? Golly, I haven't even thought about it yet, Betty. But let me tell you what this fisherman said. Oh, Betty hates fish. But you can tell me about it, Archikins. Okay. So this fisherman was down at Pelican Cove last night and... Pelican Cove? Why, what a coincidence! That's where the beach party huh? is! Yeah, I know. Anyway, people have always thought the cove was haunted because fishermen have disappeared from there for almost 200 years. I reeled in another duelist a short time ago, but he was not a worthy opponent. But a duel against you, Yugi, would be a true test. I want it back! Ah! And I'll start by escaping to the real world and your body! From now on, I'm you! What? What's this? Who are you? Answer me! Your mind is full of secrets! Then I'll summon a girl you might remember from your old bedtime stories! And thanks to her fairy godmother, she'll be able to go to the ball! You guessed it! It's Cinderella! Hi guys, and welcome to Wabafet Village. Hi. It's called Wabafet Village because everyone in town has a Wabafet. Everybody has a Wabafet? Uh-huh. Why would they all want a Wabafet? There's just something about them you can't not love. Just looking at a Wabafet makes you feel warm and happy. Great wow. job! Double. Trouble! Make it double! To protect the world from devastation! To unite all peoples within our nation! To denounce! Evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. Chase. Team Rocket Blast off at the speed of love. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Meow, that's right. Uh, my name? My name's Tama. Oh, hi. When did you guys get? When my dad and I decided to pack up and hit the road, I never thought would wind up in the one place I dreamed about. Huh? A Brutix? And a Detectix? No! A Propelix! There's another one! <laughs> Golden Rapid Tempo! Out of the way, you! No one can defeat me! Victory is mine! Come, Basson! Spirit form, unity! Let's go, Basson! Basson! Spirit form! Into the Guandai! Expect it. Gotcha. What do you think you're doing? The name's Dren, kitty cat. You... you kissed me! Yeah, nice, wasn't it? Well, see you soon. Dren. Yes, master? I trust you have brought me good news from the blue planet. Yes, well, I ran into one of these pesky Mew Mews, literally. I assume she's been eliminated? Well, not so much. I thought it would be better to observe her for a while. She's oddly intriguing. Huh? Come on, let's move. Uh, sorry, ladies. It's sort of an emergency. What kind of signal? Hey there, Zoe. Okay! Are you close? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Apparently there might be some blue aqua crystal somewhere in this pond. Really? By the way, I know we were kind of rude to your friends earlier, but we just wanted to check this out as soon as possible. Oh. Then you... <laughs> and... <gasps> Excuse me, what? I'd like to speak to the proprietor of this newspaper. Then you'll have to go to Paris, France. This advertisement. What does it mean that I may hear something to my advantage? You're Captain Alexander Hamilton. That's right. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm no aristocrat, nor ever was. I was born in Nevis in the Caribbean Sea. My father abandoned us, and my mother died penniless before I was 13. I lost my own parents as well. If it weren't for Ben Franklin's help, well, 
I don't know where I'd be. Mighty oaks from tiny acorns grow, eh, James? I sensed a kinship between us from the very start. We will enjoy this ride, we gentlemen of low. Now with the future of the galaxy at stake, Kirby must challenge enemy in a fight to the finish. Will Kirby prevail over the forces of fear, or will enemy achieve the ultimate nightmare of cosmic conquest? Find out next on the exciting series finale of Kirby Go right away. back at you. Go away! <laughs> it's too late, child. Kirby is about to face his worst nightmare. Mate, you must be Gabby. My name's Rick. I believe you're headed in this direction. Good day. <laughs> it's showtime. No. <laughs> the moment you utter her name, you are doomed. <laughs> it's Haruka. Just say it. Say it, and your life is over. Escape your past. I got away before he could grab me. Oh, oh, oh. Rouge! Hi there. I just dropped by to ask you if you'd do me a little favor. I'd have to be totally fatty to do any favors for you. <laughs> just wait till I tell Dr. Eggman. Oh, what really? What number failure was that, Boko? I lost count somewhere around 50. Whatever number it was, it better be the last! I'm tired of you tin cans ruining everything! It's not our fault, it was Boku's plan! The principal and told me your name, and while well, I was wondering if you were the same Christopher Thorndike whose father is the CEO of the Starship software company Nelson Thorndike, and whose mother is the famous film actress Lindsay Fair. Yeah, that's me. Well, I must say, Christopher, it's a privilege to meet the son of such distinguished parents. Thanks. More breathtaking nice. in the majestic vastness of the ocean. <laughs> I don't think you're taking our duel seriously, Mako. On the contrary, I am taking it extremely seriously. I'm just confirming that your forces will not stand a chance against the power of the crashing waves and the thunderous seas. One. I'll prove my turn, my turn. Draw. Berserk Gorilla! Attack mode! Who are you? Just a dude with a deck. Call me Belowski. You ever notice how clouds look like dual monsters if you look really close? And I'm... Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course. The best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards, you can clean my shoes. My name is Elder Price. I believe that Satan has a hold of you. I believe that the Lord God has sent me here. And I believe that in 1978 God changed his mind about black people. Black people! You can be a Mormon. In what way does my father be gay to you? Uh, well, he has a stud in his ear. He got it on a trip he took with a bunch of his male friends. I heard are what that hearing? sounded like. Are we hearing ourselves? I heard what that sounded like. I don't like. think we are. You know what I'm gonna do from now on? What are you gonna do? Ask people if they're gay before I have sex with them. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And don't be surprised if people ask you if you keep dressing like that. I'm gonna have the last word in this situation. It was nice to see you. No. Your dad is gay. No. Busted. Are these baby clothes? I'm confused as to why the prices are so low. Where am I? Stop it. 
You promised we'd wait till after the test results. I know. But when I promised that, I didn't know that this existed. That's not that cute. Okay, that's adorable. We'll have ourselves a family, our own little brood. All we need is a test tube and a handful of loot. I love how strong Muddling. your marriage is. And you don't need to lose weight, Louise, no matter what he told me. Get you on the flip-flop, muchachos. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, me amigos. Yeah, you got some sugar for me. Sugar. I need you for two minutes uninterrupted. Okay. Remember a few weeks ago we talked about the senior intern program? No. Really? We had a we had a whole big conversation about it. We did? Okay, remind me, seniors in high school or college? No, 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 no. Seniors in life, older people. Hold on. What? I told you I felt like we needed to do an outreach program. You definitely seem to be liking the idea, so I set it in motion. It's gonna be great. Hold, please. You're hiring senior citizen interns? There's been a ton of research on this, and the results are actually incredible. I mean, imagine having an intern with a lifetime of experience as opposed to somebody who spent the last four years of their life. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the award for Best Actress in a Musical, please welcome Broadway's Andrew Reynolds. Yeah. Come on, Sam. Get up, Andrew Reynolds. Tonight we're rich, um, <laughs> oh old my people. God. The nominees for Best Actress oh, in a Musical go. are Maggie Smith in Miss Jean Brody's Second Prime. Willow Smith in Cabaret. <laughs> Anne Hathaway in her one-woman show, Anne! Exclamation point. And Rachel Berry in Jane Austen Sings. <laughs> and the Tony goes to Rachel Berry in Jane Austen Sings! Sometime, 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 sometime. A ragtag bunch of misfits and a no good Nick Rub-a-Dub. How can I make them winners in baseball and at love? Stand back. I said stand back. Who are you? Our star tonight. That's a performance I'll never forget. So what are you sophisticated ladies up to next? Well, I thought we might have an after-show nosh at the Penny Loafer. Invitation noted and accepted. Well, <laughs> you won't hear a chuckle get... or a chortle that I can guarantee. Well, I like singing in my room alone when no one else can hear. I like singing in my garden to just the chipmunks and the deer. I love to dance the waltz, but my partner is my pillow. Oh, that's just like me. When I play catch, it's with that weeping willow. Biological creatures 
from Griffin to Gnome, take it in, this is where all magic begins. But people pass me by while barely noticing, sometimes it's lonely being king. Back in the good old days, my subjects would adore me. I'm once at Pharaoh though, cause now they all ignore me. I'm left here on my own, so by myself I sang. Trust me, it's lonely being king. This guy! Oh, hello, two more strange kids who are suddenly apparently in my apartment. Uh, welcome? Nice to meet you, this guy, Ali Timbers, co owner of the recently resurrected Mr. Majestic. What's that for? You know, shake it. <laughs> is this what you mean? It is now. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, I'm certified all right. In fact, I could kiss any male counselor in this camp and not feel a thing. Well, that is the most... Challenge accepted. <laughs> Well, uh, round one was a tie, kids, but round two is where I'm really gonna- OH GOD! I just started, like, you know, working some shitty jobs here and yeah. there in the city. What was your first job? First acting job? No, first just shitty job. Shitty job? I was a greeter at the Warner Brothers store. Oh, oh my god. Seven. You do, honestly, people be like, how did they took a, make a cartoon a person? Caleb, do you think I'm just young, gay, and mean? Yes. Well, I'm a lot more than that. I have a whole backstory about how I used to live in Texas, and I got bullied online. They called me the steer queer. Nobody wants to hear about that. Exactly. They just want me to be sharp and cutting and funny. Are you funny? Yes, and stylish, and I'm a good person. That is not what others say about you. Okay, turn off the camera. Maybe someday we'll find true love and drift apart like friends will do. But till then, who needs a boy? Some moron that soon will annoy. I ask you, who needs a boy when I got you? Shut the fuck up. You think you scare me? My dad beat me every day of my life until he died. And he literally died of a heart attack while beating me. <laughs> you gotta be fucking shitting me. Is that true? Yeah. I worked two jobs to get my degree, I worked three to get my MBA, and yet I still had enough time to develop an algorithm that when back-tested beat every house on the street, including your chop shop. Okay, so I'm here as a warning. I'm gonna use this cocaine possession with intent to distribute charge as motivation to become the biggest swinging dick on Wall Street. So here's what you can do, Mo. You can go downstairs and untake the giant poo you took on my career. Or guess what? I'm gonna be on the other side of every trade you make for the rest of your life. Mm. <laughs> 